update. Good morning, Brandon. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for taking my call. <laughs> Happy to do it. I know this is not a phone call people usually like to make. It can be a little yeah. uncomfortable. There's potential. A little, yeah. Yeah. And that's kind of what my I'm calling about. I just don't really understand or get at this point in the world. I just don't really get women. <laughs> We're complicated. Um, I know it's pretty general, but I've met a few different women on Tinder and, you know, We've met up, we've had a good time, and then they're just, like, gone. Well, what happened in the case of Corinne? Well, I liked her. I thought she was awesome. I mean, we didn't even hook up, which is something I normally would do. Oh. Uh, But no, not this time. And we sort of even talked about it, because I think she was sort of thinking, sex, maybe? Like, I don't know. It was just different. I told her I'd like to see her again, and we'd have time for that kind of thing. And she seemed cool. And I don't know. I mean, ultimately... We connected on, like, a lot of levels, more than just, like, physical. There was chemistry on both sides. Felt like I knew her for years, that sort of thing. I was comfortable with her. Mm-hmm. Um, how did you meet her? Just Tinder. Tinder, okay. Yeah. And That's- how long did you guys exchange messages before you finally met in person? Just, like, three or four simple texts. And then, you know, we matched. She liked my picture, and we went out, and there was, uh, yeah, I don't know. Since then, I've texted her more times than I did before we went out, and I just haven't heard back. Mm. So I'm hoping you guys can figure that out for me. So when you said you guys kind of talked about, like, maybe hooking up, what was the ultimate deciding factor? Like, were you just not feeling it, or did you want to wait? or did, did you, I you... wanted to wait. I thought maybe it was a little deeper than just a hookup. Oh. Hmm. It's a real potential there. Yeah. And do you think she got that, or do you think she took that as rejection? I have no idea. That's why I'm calling you guys. Okay. (laughs) So how did the date end? Let's do this again soon. (laughs) Hug. Well, that's something. Okay. it was on. That was it? That was that. Did you guys leave separately, or did you come together? No, we left separately. And since then, there's been nothing from her. Nothing. Not even a blow off, not even surface talk. Mm -hmm. Like just nothing. Radio silence. Wow. Okay. And about how long ago was this? Oh, I mean, this is last week, so it's been a few days. Not that long. For a minute from that sigh, I was like, uh, oh, Uh, that was like nine months ago. (laughs) (laughs) We're like, yeah, I think that ship has sailed. But with her, it's only been a week, so that's good. That's why I called. Maybe you guys can figure it out for me and help me out. We're happy to do that. Why don't we take a break here, because we have to anyway. When we come back, we'll call Corinne, see what she's thinking. You know, has she met someone else? Is she exploring another relationship right now? Did she take Brandon's suggestion that they wait on the sex as rejection? I don't know. Whatever it is, hopefully we'll get to the bottom of it. And even better, possibly get a second date out of it. Fingers crossed. We'll find out next. The second date update continues here at Cincinnati's Q102. First, let's check those roads. We got Denise Johnson in Victoria Cannon standing by with your latest Q102 traffic. All right, well, here we go. Typical story. Brandon meets Corinne on Tinder, and after a few back and forth, they finally agree to go on a date. The date's great. They're connecting. Lots in common. He thinks there's something special they're worth waiting for, so they didn't hook up that night. There's a hug. They go off separately. That was a week ago. He's heard nothing back from Corinne, sadly. It's not like Brandon hasn't made attempts. He has, but she's not responding. So we're going to call Corinne and see what we can get out of her, if you're ready. Let's do it. All right. Hello. Hi, Corinne. Yes. Jeff and Jenna, Q102, how are you? Uh, Jeff and Jen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi. And Fridge. Hi. Whole gang's here. Uh, Hi. How are you? I am well. I was I was good up until you called. What? Um, <laughs> oh, is this one of those second date update phone calls? Mm, maybe. <laughs> As a matter of fact, are you doing a lot of dating these days, Corinne? Of course, yes. But I don't know who you're calling about because I've ghosted a couple different guys recently. <laughs> oh. so, yeah. I almost want to hear the reasons why you ghosted before I give the uh, name. Well, you have a limited amount of time in this world, right? You only want to spend it with potential people who interest you. So I'm not even mm. about to 
give like a pity second or third date to somebody that I don't jive with. Fair mm. enough. Are you telling these men? Well, I guess not because you said you ghosted them. So you're just avoiding that step altogether. Yeah. And especially like if you meet on a dating app like Tinder, you're not, I mean, you're not really investing in relationship material. Everybody knows what Tinder's for. So hmm. I'm not about to talk further with guys I'm just trying to hook up with. Wow. Okay. Because um, cause we heard from Brandon who sounds like a nice guy, and he was left with the impression that you guys had a lot in common and, and some real chemistry and was kind of hoping to see you again and maybe explore the possibility of a relationship? No. No? <laughs> no. He, like, Brandon was a piece of work. Like, he's been, like, super busy since the bars and restaurants have been open back up, and is going out with women all the time, and has he told me that he said he has slept with pretty much all of them. What? Yeah, I don't judge that, right? I don't, you can sleep around and have a great time, but I, because I was going to do the exact same thing, so. <laughs> but, like, yeah. he, he said, he told me, he's like, listen, I've been whoring around a little bit, but I don't need to worry because I don't kiss any of them. <laughs> Are, I'm not even convinced we're talking about the same guy here because he said he thought there was some physical chemistry between you two, but he purposely held off because he thought there might be something deeper between you two. Like he, I don't know, Brandon, are you still there? What, what is all this yeah. hooking up she's talking about? Have you been doing this for real or does she have you confused with someone else? No, I mean... God, I mean, I, I guess I just did that that way for both of us. Like, I don't want to be that guy who's, like, carrying it with no symptoms and giving it to people. So I, I thought I was doing a good thing, and now I'm feeling attacked. I, so I you didn't feel like you would be spreading any germs by the actual sex act as long as you weren't... Kissing? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, well, I mean, who that, did that, I go on a date with? Julia Roberts and Pretty Woman? Like, <laughs> what... <laughs> That's right. That was a rule. She didn't kiss anybody. No kissing on the mouth. Oh, wow. It's too intimate. Yeah. I and no I don't know about you, about. but like when I'm having sex, I'm definitely breathing heavy. So like, <laughs> there's going to be some water particles. Some moisture. Even, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just, <laughs> who, has, who has sex with someone, but like doesn't kiss them? So, and, and all of these women that you were sleeping with, I mean, did you present this idea to them, like, ahead of time? Did you say, hey, listen, we're going to do this, but um, I think it's in both of our interests, you know, health-wise, to not, like, kiss during. Did you say that to these women, and then they were okay with it? I mean, definitely discuss things like that, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Because it would be weird to, like, you know, dive in there and then not do that part. Yeah. I don't kiss on the mouth. Julia Roberts also was very upfront about it. I'll do anything you want, but I don't kiss on the mouth. And that's fine. That, you if that's no your idea. thing, but I am not into having sex with someone if we're not going to, like, swap some spit. So. Gotcha. I don't know. This dude's not for me. Like, you yeah. think. Doesn't seem like something. this is a match. No, no. He's like, he's trying to protect people from the coronavirus by not spreading it. And it's like, no, unless you're having sex six feet away, you're not doing anybody any favors. This, right. I don't know. Some women might fall for it, but he's not. I don't know. It feels super cold and super rude to not have that intimacy. It's an interesting time for people hooking up because what is safe, what isn't, what is your personal threshold? What are you? Yeah. What are because you? Some people are okay of? with certain Where things. Are those boundaries. I mean, there are some want. people that are terrified of every little bit of contact, and then there are some that will do whatever because they have no fear whatsoever. So mm -hmm. I guess the trick is to find the person that's on the same page as you, and yep. that just didn't happen here. Nope. But. Corinne, we do appreciate you taking the call, setting us straight. Appreciate your honesty. Of course. Thanks, guys. Brandon, I'm sorry, man. Yeah. That's how it goes sometimes. Thanks, guys. But if you find yourself in a similar situation, we're here for you. All right. All right, buddy. Take it easy. <laughs>
I hate seeing him go off sadly. I know, I know. But it sounds like he's got other, you know, there are other. I think he's going to be okay. I think he's going to be fine. (laughs) But he liked this one, you know? Yeah, I know. That's always the worst. Yeah. Thanks for listening to the Q102 Jeff and Jen Morning Show Podcast, brought to you by CBG Airport. Start your trip at CBGAirport.com. Angie's List is now Angie, A-N-G-I, and caring for your home just got easier. Whether you need help with routine maintenance or a dream remodel, Angie makes it easy to see reviews, compare quotes, and connect with top local pros who can get the job done right. Plus, you could see upfront pricing and instantly book hundreds of projects. No phone tag, just the work you need done at a time that works for you. Angie's got your to-do list covered from start to finish. Book your next home project today at Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I dot com.